Today we're going to be looking at getting user inputs in the C programming language. So let's start off our text editor. I'm using Vim and I'm going to call my code code.c. At this point we're going to add in our header that we've been adding in. Uh, include. So we're going to include header stdio.h and as I explained in class, but I'm going to explain it again, basically the header file has function in it, in it that we call. So like we've used things like printf and uh, a few other functions uh, that are from that header. So when you compile your program, it's compiling those functions from that header file as well as your code. And so in this program, we're going to be, have to include another header file which is called string.h and I'll point out what we are adding in here that we need that string.h for in a moment. But after that we're going to initiate our main function and we're going to put our squiggly brackets here. And at this point we're going to create a variable. But unlike in the past where we create uh, integers, we're actually creating a character string here, uh, a character variable which is like a string we're going to call it name and then in the square brackets here we're going to say that it is a hundred characters or at least up to a hundred characters. Do a semicolon there. Then we're going to put some output to the screen so we're going to print F. And we're going to say please enter your name and then we'll close our brackets there, our parentheses there and do a semicolon. And then we're going to use a command called fgets. And fgets is why we need the string header in there, because that function is within that header. And string gets or fgets is going to get the information that the user types into the keyboard. And we're going to set the variable name, which we created up here. Uh, we're going to set that input to that variable. And we're going to say, once again, it's a hundred characters. And we're going to do st. DIN, which I'm not sure 100% what that stands for, but I think it's uh, string input. I don't know what the D's in there for, but basically it's saying it's uh, input coming from the keyboard. Uh, once again, I'm mainly a bash guy. I'm not that thorough with C uh, programming. I'm doing my best to teach you guys here, so I hope I'm explaining it well. Uh, we're going to add another command here. We're going to do printf as we've been doing, and we're going to output to the screen now your your name is and now in the past we use this placeholder percentage D well that was because we were working with integers or digits uh, this time we're going to use percentage s for our string variable close that uh, quotations comma and then name so basically as uh, basically just the same as before when we were using the percentage D we're printing your name is and then this is the placeholder for whatever this variable equals, which we are grabbing from the user input there. Now we're going to say print f, and then inside our brackets, parentheses, say press enter to continue. And we will close our parentheses, close our bracket, don't forget your semicolon there. And then at the very end, almost the very end here we're going to throw in the command that I showed you once before called get character or get char parentheses so that function there uh, is waiting for the user to press enter before it continues and then just to be proper return zero at the end so we should save this and now we should be able to compile it G++ code.c which is the name of our code file dash o for output and code is what I'm going to call the program although you can call it pretty much anything for the most part no errors there dot slash code we hit enter it says please enter your name I'll type in my name there we go A little typo there actually yeah <laughs> if I could spell my last name there we go I-N-T-I, there's a lot of I's in my name. Now you notice that this is printing it when I type on the same line. If we did uh, backslash N there, I'd be typing below. So it's just depending on what you want your program to look like. 
I'm going to hit enter now and it says your name is and it prints my name and then it says press enter to continue I hit enter and the code finishes so uh, once again we'll look at the code go over it one more time adding our headers here starting our main function uh, initiating our variable here which is a character variable that is up to a hundred uh, digits or characters in length and it's called name we're going to print to the screen please enter your name and then we're going to f gets which gets user input from the keyboard set whatever the user types equal to name which is a hundred characters and it's an input um, and then we're going to print after they enter that in your name is and then we got our placeholder for our variable which is name which we got from our user and then we'll press enter to continue get char wait c to enter and then it will finish out the function with a return zero so we know that the function exited properly now one thing I'm going to change here just to show you the difference once again this is just up to the uh, programmers preference I'm going to add backslash n in here so now that's our new line character we will recompile after saving that no errors there that's good dot slash code now you see this time when I type in my name it's typed under the line please enter your name instead of on the same line and that's because we did that new line character once again that's up to the programmer what he thinks looks good for what's being entered we hit enter and the output is the same so that is getting user input from the keyboard and displaying it back, saving as a variable, and then displaying it back out onto the screen. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this. Have a great day.